um, should, should always be prayed up on every service. A lot of times we kind of categorize musicians as, oh, they don't give, they not into the word or whatever. But if you are a minister of music or even a musician here on today, you need to change the mindset and encourage your musicians to be more in tune uh, with the service each and every time they, they play for the Lord. If you don't have musicians, how many don't have musicians in, in here? Anybody without musicians? All right, because even a lot of churches, I, I've been to a couple of churches that don't have musicians, and there's still a way to have music in your church. They have tracks out now that there's called we, uh, we Can Sing tracks. That Every song is pretty much out there. You can bring it in and sing to the tracks in your church. But if you all have music, then we don't need that particular outlet. Um, also, praise and worship is important in your church as well. I'm not going to talk a lot about this. But we all know that praise and worship takes the church also to a higher level. After the hymns, after the prayer and the scripture, most of the time the praise and worship starts at that point. And this is a time for the saints to also to come together and lift up the name of Jesus corporately. Your praise and worship leader is not a cheerleader. Amen? Amen. We should come into the service ready and, and, and after the hymns have been sang and prayer and scriptures done, we should be ready to all sing praise and worship to God and not solely depend on that praise and worship leader to literally stick dynamite under your pew right. to get you to be a part of the service. But we have depended so much on a praise and worship leader. Oh, he, he or she is not doing it for me and so, you know, I'm bored or I'm just sitting here, I'm not going to raise my hands. But uh, it, music in your church should be from you and come from you also not only depending on the leaders to do that but all but again with that being said it is the job of a praise and worship leader to assist in ushering in the spirit and the anointing in the church uh, each psalmist and musician uh, need to go through spiritual preparation um, you know, in your church, you have to go through spiritual preparation. You have to read your word. You have to um, pray and ask God to use you uh, before you get up before the people. With this preparation, it will allow the leader or the musician to be more in tune with God. And the church will feel the connection as well. So, again, be with your praise and worship leader. If you are a praise and worship leader, always ask God. To, to assist you and to even take your mind or have you to sing songs that will edify God, first of all, but also that will touch the hearts of the people and lead them into praise and worship. We all know.